This scripture is taken from Corinthians 15, verses 50 to 58. I declare to you, brothers, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will all be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with the immortality. When the perishable have been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with the immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labour in the Lord is not in vain. Here ends the reading. Amen. Amen. The scripture is taken from Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 to 12 and it was one of mom's favorites when Jesus saw the crowd he went up to the mountain and after he sat down the disciples came to him then he began to speak and taught them saying Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will, be, they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are, blessed are you when people... and persecute you in utter, in utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is something that um, my mom liked, and I'd just like to say, Mom, sleep tight. You'll be sadly missed. And I love you loads. Good afternoon, good morning. Um, this is a tribute from my mum, Doreen Gordon, um, Art Merkel's niece. As many of you are aware, I am one of Art Merkel's nieces. 
her one brother and her stress her one brother's <coughs> eldest daughter. My father, God rest his soul, was one of her many pride and joys, and trust me, we did well not to forget it. Um, I definitely made the cut because I came into this world looking just like my father, and in the words of Aunt Myrtle, no man, I needed out of that, and she was proud to let me know she was the one who named me. Aunt Myrtle was a straight talking, no punches, how kind of woman. She was authoritative and had no problems putting anybody in their place. I'd often pop into Park Street to sit with her, but there was nothing named sit down. She would always usher me upstairs to press out two garments, which by the way, was two big black bags full of clothes. <laughs> I would always ask my auntie if she was all right, and in a way, I did it for my own pleasure, because I knew what would be coming next. All right, me not all right, all me for all right. <laughs> Those who really knew my auntie would know that no matter how small the problem was, it was always greater than yours. She watched my three children, the older ones, Natalie, Michael and Dion Grove, with a picture of them firmly on the fireplace. Whenever Michael would sulk, she would tell him to stand up in his trousers like a man. Her one-liners are something that will be etched in my memory forever. My auntie was a classic lady, and in her words, nobody couldn't style and pattern her and mama. They were the greatest to ever do it. I am glad I got to sit with her in my final, in her final days here on earth. Auntie, you can't tell me you're not all right now because I know your soul is well with our father. And until we meet again, sleep well. strength of my life. He removes all pain, misery and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He'll never, never fall short of his word. I'm gonna fast and praise him in this narrow way and keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I'll never turn back. God is. In all, 
God is the joy, he's the strength of my life. He'll remove all pain, misery and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He'll never, never fall short of his word. I'm going to fast and praise him in this narrow way. Keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him too far, and I'll never turn back. God is, I know that God is, I know that God is, believe is, God is my I say, God is the joy and the strength of your life. He'll remove all pain, misery and strife. He'll promise to keep you. He'll never leave you. He'll never, never fall short of his word. Just fast and praise him in this narrow way. Keep your life clean every day. He wants to be with you when he comes back. He's come too far. Don't ever turn back. Cause God is. God is. God is. God is. God is. Oh, God is your Church. <laughs> good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. All right. Good, good, good. Now, I'm going to do something I never do it in my life. See? And that is called Mommy Myrtle for the first what? time in my life. All right. All right. Mom life. From Jamaica. Myrtle Maud Gordon was born on the 21st of October 1928 to Rosina Adina and Alexander Gordon. She was raised and educated in the district of Brandon Hill, Jamaica. Mom was the eldest of two children. Her sibling, Kenneth Gordon, whom she found referred to as her one brother, 
she attended as one of the brightest young ladies in this street. Everyone loved her. She was her mother and father's pride and joy, respected by all her family, old and young. Mom was raised in a Christian home, and after leaving school, she started her profession as a seamstress. Her parents made sure that she and her one brother never wanted for anything. She would often say her childhood days were the best. Mom met her husband to be Edwin Lucius Francis, a.k.a. Neddy. Following a courtship, they were married in 1957. She fondly called her future husband a remarkable man. During her courtship, Mom was into politics and was a well-known public speaker following in the footsteps of her uncle, St. William Grant rubbing shoulders with politician, musician, and individual well-known in Jamaican society. Mom and dad wedding was quite a celebration in the community, which lasted several days. While Drew Creed, a well-known producer at the time and good friend of dad, was the DJ for the whole event. They had two children in Jamaica, Devon Alien, <laughs> In the spring of 1959, Dad came to England and was followed by Mom in the summer of 1960, accompanied by her sister-in-law, Auntie Esme, to the West Bromwich area. From Jay to the UK. On arrival, she was reunited, reunited with her husband Edwin. As a couple, they were supported by family and friends. It was during this time that their family grew to include Trevor Anthony, Stephen Lloyd, and Andrew Mark. In 1970, Edwin and Myrtle purchased their family home at number six Park Street. Soon after, Devaney and Leroy arrived in Jamaica to complete the family. Myrtle and Edwin raised their first grandchild, Olive Samantha, also known as Gugu, <laughs> to whom they raised as their own. Her career spanned over 40 years, starting as an auxiliary nurse at Hallam Hospital until she changed direction, where she would utilize her seamstress skills at rally industry from where she, she retired. She would later work as a school guide in a role she took a lots of pride and thoroughly enjoyed. As well as her career, she would organise boat trips to Southport and ending with a dinner and dance at the Liverpool's dock on the Royal Iris. Myrtle used to run partners that helped people financially in her local community. She was an active member of St Philip's Church, Beaches Road, West Bromwich, where she was a devout member of the choir for many years. Myrtle was much loved aunt to her many nieces, nephews, great-grandchildren. She was often fondly, fondly known by a few pet names as Kiko, Keek, Auntie Miracle, to family and friends. Mom was reunited with her husband on the morning of the 10th November 2021. Myrtle is survived by her five children, 14 grandchildren and 23 grandchildren. Rest in Great country. To rest in eternal peace from all of us until we meet again. Thank you. greet you this afternoon in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Greetings to Father David Jarrett and proceedings to take place.
I want to greet you in the name of the Lord. Say to you, and in your time of heartache and pain. Most of us have gone this process before, so it's not strange to any of us that we are here uh, this afternoon to celebrate the life of this wonderful woman, servant of the Lord, Myrtle Lord Francis. While I was thinking about what I was going to say today, I have a passage of scripture I want to read. But you know, in life, there are two things that we celebrate. We celebrate birth with happiness and joy. And we celebrate death with mourning, heartache and pain. Why is that? And it isn't. So when somebody is born into the world, we are happy and we are joyful. And then when somebody goes, you know, we are sorrowful. And we do all kind of things and so all kind of things. But what we forget is to celebrate the bit in the middle. The time between birth and death. What has taken place. What has occurred. In this case, uh, Myrtle has left a legacy here in West Bromwich and across the world. She has children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. She's a pillar of the community. So her life was not She had made significant contributions to her great-grandmother and also as a pillar of the community here in West Bromwich. And indeed when we moved into the area, that is the Francis family. And they were a pillar of the community here in West Bromwich. And I can say that the community has come out to celebrate Legacy. When she left Jamaica, I believe she only had a small grid with a few of her belongings in it. Today she has left. What has she left behind? She has left a whole generation of people that will carry on her legacy once she is gone. So today we should be celebrating. We should be rejoicing. Because yes, she is gone. Our hearts are sorrowful. Our hearts are painful. We'll go through these. But Job tells us in Job chapter 14 and verse 14, it says, If a man die, shall he live again? Oh, glory to God. It says, Yet in all my time, I will wait until my change come. Hebrews 9 and verse 27 tells us, It is appointed unto man once to die, but after that comes the judgment. So all of us have this appointment, whether we like it or not. It's not an appointment that we make for ourselves, but it's an appointment that we must keep. Because one day, somebody will come knocking our door and say, my brother, your appointment is at hand. Yes, we get reminders. Yes, we get reprieved. But one day, we will have to keep this appointment. Myrtle kept her appointment. She did not worry what was left behind. She knew that she left enough of herself in her children. She knew that she left enough of herself in her grandchildren. She knew that she left herself enough of herself in her, grand, in her great grandchildren and in her community so that they could carry on from where she is left off. Nothing I say to you today will change what has happened. But I hope that something I say to you today will change something in the future. We can't bring Myrtle back, she's gone. But we can make sure that when we go, we go and join her. She is going to join her husband. She is going to join the rest of her family. Now we have an opportunity in this life so that when we go, we can go and join with her. We can also have this celebration See, if she had died and nobody turned up, there was no family to celebrate her life, then something would be wrong somewhere. But she has a generation of people 
that's celebrating her life. She has a generation of people that is a community that has come to pay their last respect and tribute to her and say how wonderful and contribution she has made in this community. See, one day, the Bible tells us in Corinthians that the trump of shall rise first. We who are alive and remain will be caught up for glory to God. But you must be in the place. So when that catching away comes, you are in it. You may be alive, but miss out on the, ca on the catching away. You may be alive, but miss out on the opportunity to get to where mom is. You may be alive and miss out on the opportunity to get to where Gran is. You may be alive to miss out and miss out on the opportunity to get to where grandmother is. So today we have this unique opportunity. We have a, a wonderful hope in Jesus Christ that one day be with her. We will be reunited because that is no hope. We are people of hope because we know that one day he is coming again. You know there's a, there's a song that says because he lives I can face tomorrow. Because he lives all fear are gone and because I know who holds the future then I know that my, my future is secure and my future is safe, safe because he holds the future. The verse 3 of that song says, And one day I will cross the river. I will fight life's final war with pain. And then as death gives way to victory, I will see the light of glory. And I will know that Jesus lives. Oh, glory to God. And so I have hope today that one day when he returns, we all be caught up to meet him in the air and finally we will be with the Lord. We'll be out of pain, we'll be out of sorrow, we'll be out of sickness, we'll be out of our take because why all these things that we have in the physical will pass away and we will return and live the life that God had intended us to live. Amen. So as a word of comfort today, to you, my brethren, today, and my friends. I can't tell you how to mourn. I can't tell you how to grieve. When death curse comes, it allows us to examine our emotions. We begin to go through all of the range of things. Could I have done this better? Could I have spent more time with her? Could I have visited more often? Could I have found more often? Could I have been there? Could I have done this? Could I have done that? As we go through all of this, then we begin to blame each other and blame ourselves for things that we have no control of. Because we can't control the process of death. Only God can. And he knows when it's time to call his children home. So as we examine our emotions today, and as we go through our time of grief, heartache and pain, remember one thing that there is one who loves you more, one who loves you more than you can ever imagine, and his name is Jesus Christ. And as he said, if a man dies, shall Will I see my mother again? Yes, I will. Will I see my great-grandmother again? Yes, you will. But first, you must ensure that your life And the trump sound, you will be caught up to meet him in the hair because grandma will pass you. She will raise from the dead and she will pass you. And I don't know if you'll see her going, but she will be going. Because her life and her testimony is that she has spent her life in the service of the Lord and God is going to reward her for the service that she has done. So my friends, you will need to carry on the mantle. You will need to take up where grandma has left off. And so that one day, when the trump of God shall sound, you shall be in the number and you shall meet her in the hair. May God bless you. Amen.
section for the life and work of this church. So thank you very much in advance for anything that you're able to give to our collection this afternoon. So let's stand and sing our hymn, Blessed Assurance. Let us pray. God of mercy, Lord of life, 
You have made us in your image to reflect your truth and light. We give you thanks for Myrtle, for the grace and mercy she received from you, for all that was good in her life, and for the memories we treasure today. You promise eternal life to those who believe. Remember for good this, your servant Myrtle, as we also remember her. Bring all who rest in Christ into the fullness of your kingdom, where sins have been forgiven and death is no more. In Jesus' name, Amen. Most merciful God, whose wisdom is beyond our understanding, surround the family of Myrtle with your love that they and all who mourn her passing may have confidence in your love and strength to meet the days to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, we pray for ourselves as we pray for Myrtle. We stand where earth and heaven meet where life is brought to death, and death is made the gate to glory. Deliver us from fear and doubt, from despair and unbelief, and bring us to the light of your presence. Grant us that peace which the world cannot give, so that we, with mercy, may trust in you and find our life in you. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ, our Saviour, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite you to join with me in the words our Saviour taught us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Water, we call to mind Myrtle's baptism. As Christ went through the deep waters of death for us, so may he bring us to the fullness of the resurrection life with more Myrtle and all the redeemed.
you please stand. Jesus said, truly I tell you, today you'll be with me in paradise. So let us commend Myrtle to the mercy of God, our Maker and our Redeemer. God, our Creator and Redeemer, by your power, Christ conquered death and entered into glory, confident of his victory and claiming his promises. We entrust Myrtle to your mercy. In the name of Jesus our Lord, who died and is alive and reigns with you, now and forever. Amen. Go forth upon your journey, Christian soul. Go from this world in the name of God the Father who created you. In the name of Jesus Christ who suffered for you. In the name of the Holy Spirit poured out for you. May peace be yours this day and your dwelling in the city of God. Amen. Rest eternal, grant a myrtle, O Lord, and let my perpetual shine upon her. May she rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. And may God give each of you here his comfort and his peace, his life and his joy in this world and the next. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, with you and all those who we love, this day and forevermore. Amen. Would you all like to be seated now? In a few moments, there will be the opportunity for viewing. I invite that seat to come forward and prepare the casket. And uh, when we're ready, if you'd like to come forward, please do so. And then please do return to your seat so that we'll be able to exit in an orderly and decent fashion. Thank you.
And gentlemen, can I have your attention please? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We need to make way down the aisle now so we can take Mrs. Francis out of the church. Please do make space.
but uh, switch the microphones on to the camera around me. Put these posts on mute, I'll take them off mute now. So we don't have to. Nice lock, I'll take it up now. I haven't come up to that I wouldn't have just dropped off the road and gone that way, but something else ain't going that way. The route can't be going. Can't turn. Oh dear. No, so you'll take the next one. Yep. Down to the bottom. Yep. You'll go right. Oh, you are going to turn right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then you go left. Right. Yeah, and then we're going round the back of the Austin. So, so once you go that way, you kind of go, you're going left of the... So, right, yep. second right, the bottom of the road, yeah, yeah. right. Yep. We come to the second right at the bottom of this road. Yeah, 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 you turn. Turn right. Turn right there. Come to a little island. Right. Right there. Yeah. Okay. That takes you around the back of the. It just avoids all the tall carriage way. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, I'll be in front. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. Okay, those watching, uh, sorry it's got very bumpy. This is a difficult time where this video will be edited, but for live streaming purposes, we we can't stop the the live streaming. So this is to say where it gets quite untidy. Bear with us. Hopefully we'll do the cortege driving to the cemetery. So uh, bear with us. You can switch to JSPV3 which is in a better position at the moment, but that will also get very bumpy soon.
Seaman. JSTV, thank you. Not ready yet. Get, get, get ready. Put it on there. I'll take sponge out now. stay on this channel so this channel is keeping open there is audio there won't be any clear picture but once we arrive at the cemetery
Radio mics. So I've got two radio mics there by the side of the graveside because it, it may well stand that side, I don't know. Which is we've got the stand on the wrong side, we'll have to move it. But we'll find out that in a bit. Um, he, he should switch his back on. Last time uh, the father forgot and I had to go and remind him if you remember. So we'll see if he remembers this time. So we need to keep an eye out. He's on, um, on this one, I think, because they're brown, brown, yeah. So he's on this camera. So uh, thank you for those who are still with us. Uh, we had a bumpy ride obviously from the church getting into the, the vehicle. We can't stop the live streaming, uh, so we have to continue. Obviously the edited version we're doing, which is in HD, high quality, uh, we have five cameras today we're using so we can edit everything together. But for the live stream it just runs continuously. So we're now at, we're now at Heath Lane Cemetery. We have two cameras running, so you're looking now at JSPV, we also have JSPV3, so both at the graveside, just from two different angles. Yeah, get out of the 
uh, the planks are my feet. They'll get stuck. Don't still with us. This is um, channel JSPV3. JSPV3. And uh, we're just testing our sound levels. We have radio mics around the graveside. And we have one with Father David as well. And, um, we have two channels. We have the other one, which is JSPV. That is the main camera. But at this this stage, they're, they're pretty much equal. So there's two. If you have any buffering with, it, with either of them, you shouldn't do outdoors, but if there is any problems, you can try the other channel. So two channels, JSPV and JSPV3, both on YouTube. Thanks for staying with us. Now going this way. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. i Yeah, one. Yeah. Next one, yeah? yeah next okay. One. one, two, three. Next one. Yeah, next one on three. Three. Yeah? That's it. Yeah? That, that's CPO, yeah? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, you're lowering as well, are you? Yeah? Mm. A bit further. Okay. Yeah. You one, got two, three. Don't wrap around your hand. 
No. So these guys are going to have to lower their in first yeah. until you're under the jacket. Yeah? Yeah. No, that side's yeah. just yeah. 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 So once you you guys lift, just lift and pause, yeah. we need to drop this side and we'll let you know when to start yeah. okay. okay. So on the count of three, guys, we're going to lift the coffin around about two inches. Okay? Yeah. So yeah. one, yeah. two, yeah. three. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Well done. Okay. You got, a, you got a good grip. Okay. okay. Right. Come on. Okay. One, two, two three. Lift. Okay. okay. You don't do anything. Yeah, yeah. So you start feeding from the hands. Yeah. 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 I lift up my eyes to the hill, from whence doth my help come. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Do not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great goodness. As a father is tender towards his children, so is the Lord tender to those that fear him. For he knows of what we are made remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass, we flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place will know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures for ever and ever toward those that fear him, and his righteousness upon their children's children. We have entrusted our sister Myrtle to God's mercy, and we now commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
who transform our frail bodies, that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory for ever. Amen. Thank you. 
Goodbye to um, Mrs. Francis Merkel, as she's better known to her grandmother, to mother, to great grandmother, to auntie, to cousin, to friend, to whatever capacity she is to you. I want to say our final goodbye. This is just a representation of what she's going to get when she enters the kingdom of heaven. Amen. 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 So these flowers are beautiful, but it's just a, a, a representation of what God has uh, awaiting for him. So uh, our garden will be much more flourishing and much more beautiful. And you know, Jesus said to his disciples, let not your heart be troubled. Uh, he believed in God, believed also in me. Because in my Father's house are many mansions, and I go and prepare for you. So this is just a representation of what is to come. There is greater yet to come. May God bless you.
this evening. Bow your head with me as we pray together. Father, we just want to thank you for your blessings, for your peace and your joy amongst us. Well, thank you for today. This is a beautiful day that you have given to us. As we lay to rest your daughter, Lord, from, um, Lord, from Lord Francis. Lord, she has finished her time here on earth and you have called her home. So, Father God, as we come this afternoon in this cemetery, we want to say goodbye to her for a time because we know we will see her again. And we, Lord, commit her now into your hand. And know, we know, God, that she's at rest and she's at peace with you. So, Father God, we ask your continuing blessing upon the family, those who are around us, oh Lord. You say that we will endure for a night but joy will come in the morning. And we are told in scripture that one day you will wipe every tear from the eyes of your children as they shed them. Because tears is a language that you understand. So Father God, we ask your blessing and your peace and your joy upon the rest of the day and upon the proceedings of the day as we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sleep and take your rest, lay down your head upon your Savior's friend. We love you, be strong. Be strong. but Jesus loves you. Good night, good night, good night. Good night. Oh, be loving, sleep and take your rest. Thank you. 
But we dearly, David, yeah, dearly, what are you doing? Because they have to fix in it. Yes, I'm not to come in. But I mean, I'm hoping. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I won't drink it off. I won't worry about with the money. <laughs> you. Uh, yeah, that's a nice one. You know what I mean? This seems so strange. I know. I know. That's got to be Trevor's son. It looks like Trevor. I think he was the.
Okay, I'm speaking to both um, live streams at the moment. That's channel JSPV and JSPV3. We're moving on from the cemetery very shortly. It's getting darker here as well. We're heading over to the conference suite for the reception. We're, we're continuing there, so we'll keep the live streams going. But this part will be uh, just rough to watch, shaking around. But we will try and do the cortege. There's uh, seven stretched limousines. The hearse has left and the horse and carriages have left. But we will try and record, as we did earlier, 
the drive sequence. So it was going to get a bit rough in between, and then hopefully we'll get the drive sequence, and then a bit rough, and then we'll get set up in the conference suite. But we know from that experience in the conference suite, we do struggle with streaming, so you may suffer from buffering. So it probably, probably won't be your phone or your end. Uh, it's just that we do struggle. The sound will still be there, and then it will pick back up again, but we'll do what we can. So we're just, we're just going to break down here. Keep the live streams open, so so uh, please stay with us on the stream, or, or come back in a few minutes, and hopefully we'll get the cortege.
That's a burger. Well, it's the camera as well, because we live streaming as well.
it's not the right, we're, we're switching to the other channel Friends all watching, you've done this way, it's live stream. You're doing a stellar job. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
You don't know. I hope my church will have walked the floor. To all the people that are sitting at the church. You hear me? Go play some 45 right now. Think called 45 Shapoo. Yeah, man, some big people music. Yeah. Nice and easy, nice and fun. As a teacher, what was that? I can see my young friend.
सर मोटर से कर
Here, here. We're going to grow up on the big people. I hear the echoes. So that I used to say, here, here. So all the young people, you can understand the words that start to learn now. Uh, when we got in, I uh, would have felt it real. I would have got over with uh, today. I did, I did very well. I don't remember so much people that show the dirt. You better start, you know, go to the gym where you're going to go to the You better start learning to show the dirt. <laughs> anyway, okay, we need some other family from London. We have some big talkers from London. We have Roger. Come in, Roger. Come say something to the family. Give him a round of applause. Send notes. Read it. My family. I've got two memories of my two memories. When I was a little boy, I was about 11. And the coach lord come from Birmingham here already. I'm ready to reach at the house. I'm to work to stand at the front. Before you reach for the house, I'm going to step. And I'm to work to stop. You go around, son. You go over, son. You, you are still there, son. You, you, what I mean is a real general. She's the organizer. Because she'll come up and say, it's my cousin. And to her for that. But the funniest part was, when she'll get the order, you know, all the areas, on it, on it, bring the suitcase upstairs. <laughs> that be you. And to her for And, let me ask you a question, I'm going to jump in her room. When Uncle Eddie and Daddy are crying, what was Auntie Merkel and Mommy are doing? Say, I'm not a two idiot. From one person who are crying, the two big men are crying. When you listen to Auntie Merkel and Mommy, it's done. Then. Sis, continue.
but we don't have those qualities like what they have. But they are sharing so many of what they knew with us. So what we can do is try to pass some of those memories on to our children. So they know certain things then that we want when we pass. For instance, today, if we didn't know some of the songs down at the burial, it would have just been so fun. But we sang what we knew and we tried to keep it alive. And for those things we need to share with our children, if we want the same thing when it's our time. And that is what I love. We are a big family, some here, some in London. We don't see each other often, but when we get together, we get together and we're there for the important times. So with that, everybody, you know, all I can say is one love. Hello to you. Give them a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And speaking on and crying, I remember those days when Trevor's father, Mr. Francis, and we used to go down to London. And when they used to meet up down there, his peer crying used to go on. And I used to wonder, how comes that big man here and crying? And I can remember, you know, the wine shop on the high street. I remember one time I was in there with Mr. Francis. And I think Andrew was getting married and him, because him, Mr. Francis and my father was close cousins. And he said, Buzzer, your father was international and he just started to cry. And I couldn't understand, but I realized now the closeness, what they had, them man they didn't have a closeness so tight that they cried because they didn't love each other so much. And they knew that the day would come or that they would have to part. Right? Even when my mother and our brother rest in peace. Back in the 70s when Uncle Wesley used to come in Birmingham, they used to cry like baby in front of each other. Miss Mark and my mother they used to cry when they see each other. I didn't understand the crying. But you have to remember, crying, only God understand crying. You know? Right, crying is your only message, only God understand. Right? So when we cry, people are looking at you and say, Yes, sir, we are crying, God. But your crying is going to heaven. See? And we need to release that energy of crying. Right? Not if you like bad, but we do too much crying over the years. People and say, We don't cry too much. So we're not crying today. God, I don't know why you're not know, cobalt, right? Anyway. Mr. Ross, you know, see, he's a family member. Brandon, you come say something. You two are right, like Buzz Rock. On a day like this, and we can't say two words, we have to say something. This is my family in the movie, this one. Julie Marcy and Brown. And the family Francis, family Francis, say, respect. Respect to the marks. No. When can I take you back to the year of 1975-76? You know why? You know why we say that? Because this is where the bigger man them, like we just said, when the man them go on a weekend, go a fox and dogs, leave fox and dogs, come up a shop, and when they go round the back, if you never know about Jamaica. You are going to know about Jamaica. God, that's what them man was talking about. Brandon Hill and nothing more. All of them are about Terry, more prospect. Come down as I am. Come and march my body man. How we go on and cut? How we have a man grass piece? How come I know all this up? You are here. You are here. From the beginning. You, 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 you're going to hear everything. Walk on your soul. And in at the soul. Fisher Francis. Nelly Garden. William. Dice. Moonmark, Texas. The lot. Rodney, Drummer. The lot. They will talk about Jamaica. And in at that end, the same thing we are talking about, Bozrah. They will cry up memories. Because at 
and you take them. Grow up with that. Because these are the real soldiers. We born into these. We don't have no other choice but to carry on where these people have done for us and their power. On the behalf of Miss Kiko now, Miss Kiko and my mother, you know what I want to say about it? That was the thing. Tighter than tight, you could get a tighter than today. Because when my mother talk, and when Miss Kiko talk, and then when your mother, both of my mother and Miss Kiko again, more worries. <laughs> because that's how it was. Home, back in your style, these people kept it real. But I want to make say, Miss Francis, you have done justice over the years to the community of West Bromwich. And wherever people know you, all I say to you, in God trust, rest in peace. And to all of us meet. Jennifer, you made a very good speech. I respect that. And all what we know as traditions, we carry it on for the younger generation to take over when, when our time comes. We don't worry about that. Make it one, spirit. Make it one. <laughs> far as I'm concerned, we are here on the behalf of supporting Miss Kiko Francis. And that's what it's going to be tonight, okay? So, Boss Rock, take it away. Come on, leave my one word of applause. They call this man inside a PDL. He don't forget nothing is like a elephant. Come in, young lady, give her a warm round of applause. Out of the London family. Good evening, everyone. My name is Helen. This is my message to my mom. My mom is Miss Rachel. You might not know me personally, some of you, but you might know my brother, Raymond. When I told my mom about um, the death of my uncle, she said, Where are you sick? Where are you sick? I repeat myself, told my dad. Then that means all about four of them, they're all concerned for us, all the people in the right now. What we can call from. And she said, anyway, pause her to I call him Mandiva, Ronald Hunter, out of Brandon Hill, Jamaica. Give him a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I will him talk, and we can have more than you. I said that, but that, to all the promises from Billy. But remember, a couple of weeks ago, we got the notice. So please take notice tonight. And notice. Government down the old church. Right, remember Black Lives Matters and BP, which is trivial but not pride. A bit tangy, passy. Go. Check. Check, check. Of all the openers, I need tangy. in at the graveyard but next time please please don't do that again to the black nation remember black pride matters the Chinese man the black man and the white man they never left none in at the graveyard so please don't let so much rubbish again and thanks to the Obama family the leading Pacific cleaner Last grave, yeah. Don't know what there used to be a pressure from pinner, from pinner, bicycle tire, and they used to have a nice centimeter, you know, back those in the days. I have to say, for all the brothers, we have to give all the sisters big respect. 
girls, those ladies, Miss Francis, my mother, I always talk about the girls. The girls that really suffer, they couldn't go and do nothing. So bless those two ladies' souls, Miss Francis, wish you know what's kept up, and my mother, Ivy. Don't was the pair. I used to pick them up from doing straight at that rally factory. And they would say, they have to organize the marriage and Joe and my sister. But still, wish it was these days when those people didn't really have the plan to arrange the marriage. So, and they have a bag. Hunter family. We have to big up the Francis family because we come a long way back. I remember 50 years ago, my mother and Miss Francis was twin. They work at the same place and they love everybody as a woman. Miss Francis would say to my mother, Hunter, my mother says, Miss Francis, respect, God bless, enjoy yourself. Yes, my dear. You see, right now I'm bringing a singer going by the name of Alex J. Beepi. He's just going to send a blessing right now to the Francis family. Yeah, I'm just big up everybody. Thank everybody for your kind words. So at this time, I'd like to introduce to you Alex J. Beepi. Give him a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, you can be better than that. Sorry, J. Alex Bigby. Forgive me. Of my sin. One, two, one, two. Yes, true. I'm going to say I'm going to say to the family. Yes, I am. I'm very back in the days. I'm going to say to my sons. I'm going to come here. Can you my to your family? So, I want you guys to just become real self and you come on for the family. Because, you know, she's gone, but she's not forgetting. Just really shut up there. Valentine's, Valentine's. You know, in these times, we need, we need a show to the on, yeah. Hmm? When you be well, and feeling small, when teachers sing,
this one is an uh, original song which I wrote, and it's well spoiled. And you know, in this time, let's say, we all need a shoulder to lean on. So, you're the one. He's my daddy. We all think he's a good guy. You can throw it in the secret place of the most sad. Should have lied and wished to die. That the Lord is good, His mercy endures forever. He never fails. Keep His promise, my Father. He's my very best friend. When the road gets rocky times and the hills are so hard. Me up above all these, down my feet on higher ground. I wanna lift your feet on high. You are my guide, deep star. My first, my last, my everything, and there is none. Like you. Whoa, oh, oh. Because you know I'm going to be getting with the mic here. Mic is why it's in service. That's what you want. Go on. Who's going to move you?
If you know the words, then I want you to sing for Aunt America now. Hey, if you love Aunt America, you should know the words. And then, no, if no, but no. Oh, come on, girl. Yes, boss. Check one. Management, please turn down the lights. Valentina, just turn the bartender if it's one of the lights now. Yo, Dimples. Where are you sitting? What do you mean? Queen and a lady, Auntie Merkel, that was said. Anyway, now. Alright, Trevor. Listen to what Barry said about Auntie Merkel. Listen to what Barry said. And a lady. Anyway, the Ricky no, reports. No, no, the Lord of Jennifer, looking fabulous as usual. Now, you know what I mean? We have a quick thing for to mercy, you know. Thank you. 
Nacho. Yes, Leroy. Big up, big up, big up, big up. Big up, big up. Fuck it, just What time are trying to do to me? Lots of that time, so you leave. And it's not ready to leave. Yeah, you play some. Yeah, you play some. Well, all right. And tonight we will hear. And to Berkeley, we will tour. Are you ready? 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 Are you Final, what do you mean? Oh, no, 
we can is fear side. Listen on, listen on, be us and deal with it. Are the wicked is fear side when I told you. Too much wagonist. Too much antagonist. Who's a puller? Who's a puller? Who's a puller? Hey, I ask America to get up. Anti America Freeway Party. Are oh, you me? Come on. Well, all right. Let's go. Too much wagonist. Too much antagonist. Love of a cousin Margaret. Bigger, 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 bigger. bigger, bigger, bigger. Yeah, don't worry, bigger. Yeah. Wait till that bird's a cry. Listen, Dennis. Listen, 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 Dennis. Listen. We're at the crossroads. And this is the time of decision. Oh, you mean? Too much in farmers. Too much in daylight. Too much in farmers. I don't know, Auntie America. Somebody's a geek. No. We say all who love anti America, somebody say geek. Run that to them. This is the anti Americans. This is what we say for anti America. This is what we say for anti America. God, but never forget. Yo, Rocks, easy, easy. Anti America, I hear this. Oh, we say cream on the dance floor. We say cream. Don't be shy if you come on the dance floor enough. We're not charge. All right. Listen to the crown prince of reggae. Easy ball down. Pauline. Auntie Merkel. Yo, Auntie Merkel feel well part of this enough. Larger because of Judith, Anthea. Are you mean? Uncle Randy Legacy. Oh, oh to the Francis family. Hey. Francis family hey. on the dance floor. No. Hello, man. I just Christine. We say hello on the dance floor. Do you think Christine? Oh, you big? Oh, that's a shame. Chill, 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 chill. Lord, your Jennifer Francis. Big up yourself, Queen. Queen, 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 Queen. Yo, Buzzy, you're not 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 proven up. Yo, Rock, salute, sir. We So much, so much. To speak to you, my Lord. Hey, when I see a London black up here, how much more you have here? Enough DJ there, I come for representing. I like what's in. So the next show, the next show, what up? No, man. You done? I will Again, if you love Anti America, somebody said, Kiko. I can't hear you. If you love Anti America, somebody said, Kiko. The right hand side now says, I will not up it. Last time. All who love Auntie Merkel, somebody said, Kiko! Yeah. Run it. <laughs> ally Rocks? Rocks, Ally? Nah. This is how I used to see your mother every day, no? Leroy, this is how I used to see your mother, right? No, Anto, this is how I used to see your mother, right? Stevie, this is how I used to see your mother. She is what? Everybody can sing the chorus. I had to be a Yes, let me get my words right and then approach you. When I'm teaching, I'm finding some holy stuff. 
you'll never have to cry. No, I know everyone can relate. Would they find a special one? Sit down to mercy. Sit down to mercy.
Pamela, big up yourself. You know I think too tough. Alright. Okay. Hey. Listen. Local hero. Chill up, pull up, pull up, lady. I beg you, move it again. I check a ranking boss this boy. You know how much I love you. Babe, I will tell you. Uh, hold on. Are you a Trevor Rankin boss? Are you there? What an anti American boss, Trevor Rankin. Oh, now I've gone around the thing. So she was the boy then. Yeah. Anti American boss this boy. Yo! That's right! We've now left anti American man. Yeah, right, Christine? It's not that I don't love you. You know how much I do. And it's not that I find somebody to take the place of you. Easy body general. Mr. Hunter. Yeah, man, the big man, them, the veteran. The general, general, them in other place, right? Easy, son. Yeah, man, years without tears. This and all, you mean? Before. Son, it goes to me. You know something, Roger? You see, when you play for the ladies, they're going to run here. No. No. Anyone who plays for the man, I'm not man. Trust me. Woman. The bird. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, shot. All right.
look at it, you know, you mean? Yeah, I'm mean, not like this, and the song sounds fun. You know what I mean?
Streaming is coming to an end now. The footage from all these five cameras used today will be edited and available to see in around about two weeks' time. But for now, the streaming is coming to an end.